I'm not looking for change. The fuel pump's out. You want to know some tips and tricks on how to do a fuel pump and how easy they actually are? Keep watching. This is our fuel pump access panel. Now, not all cars are lucky enough to have a fuel pump access panel, but a lot are, and it saves a lot of headache. Um, the procedures I'm going to show are the same for any car, pretty much. Um, the only difference is, is if you don't have an access panel in either under your rear seat or in the trunk area, you actually have to drop the entire fuel tank to actually access the top of the fuel pump to be able to do this. Um, first thing, I'm going to disconnect the battery from the car, just a negative terminal. I'm going to unplug some, some of these wires. I already unscrewed the panel. We're going to pull that off. There's my fuel pump. Easy enough. Different manufacturers have different ways of actually attaching the fuel lines to the fuel pump. Ford uses these, uh, Ford and Mazda use these little uh, clips, which just actually slide right out. And then the fuel lines slide right off. I've already depressurized the fuel system. Not that, this. Virtually every engine will have a, uh, a Schrader valve on the fuel rail and it's just like a tire valve. So watch your eyeballs. So they'll slide right off. And then fuel pumps are held in by a retaining ring. And it's this slip ring that goes around and it slides under little tabs. And all you do is take a hammer and a screwdriver, even though a screwdriver is not a chisel, and you just hammer it around, it slides around, fuel pump is now free and ready to come out. It's really that simple. Um, if you have a lot of junk, like just build up rust, dirt around the top, vacuum it off first, try to clean it up, just so you don't drop it all into your fuel tank. But now we're just gonna take the fuel pump and there's a lot to it. There's a fuel sending unit, a little bit of everything that needs to come out. So just wiggle all that stuff out. Let it drain. I oh, smell the gas. Woo! And you, then there should be a tank gasket right here. Um, you'll need to reuse your lock ring. So this will get reused, but your kit should come with a new gasket. Now I'm going to do a whole unit, but you can also usually just buy just the pump, which is just this section right here. And that just unclips. It's a little creative, but you can get that done clip and get a new pump in. Um, some units don't actually even come with the fuel sending unit. I suggest buying it. You know, if your fuel sending unit's old, because last thing you want to do is get this all back together and not have your fuel gauge right. But if it works perfect, why not, you know? And that you can just unattach as well. If you need to for your new pump, let's get that out of the way. We got our new pump here, our new gasket. Um, one of the trickiest parts is actually getting this gasket usually to sit in this little groove. It likes to move around while you're trying to do it. So there are some techniques um, to getting it to stay. Let's make sure the groove is all cleaned out. Um, one of the best is just some sort of adhesive, um, like a number two Permatex number two gas sealant is actually fuel resistant and that'll, it just has, it's just sticky and it'll help stick it. So I'll put that a little bit on it, a little bit of that on it. So we can actually have that stay in place while I get the, the pump on. If you don't have, it just says two and this is by Permatex, but all brands have like a number two, um, gasket sealant. And what it does is just a non-hardening adhesive um, type goo. And it's just a handy thing. It's cheap. It's a handy thing to have in the toolbox. Great for holding gaskets in place. And that's all we're doing here. It's not sealing anything. The gasket will do the, the job itself, you know, but it'll, it'll just help me hold it in place while I go about installing the pump. There it is, it's held in place. Let's take our new fuel pump. This one comes pre-attached with the uh, fuel sanding unit. Um, this is your filter sock. Some don't come with a filter sock. 
This is a com complete, complete unit. Just makes it easier. So let's get this in here. Fuel sending unit down in. It's amazing this all fits. The hard part about the hardest part about this job is if it is a fuel pump that you do have to drop the fuel tank. And I mean that's not it's not the hardest thing in the world. Um, it does increase the difficulty quite a bit if the fuel tank has a lot of gas in it because it's weight, you know, each gallon of gas weighs somewhere around seven pounds. Uh, actually maybe even six. I don't know. Somebody will correct me below in the comments. But you know, you have a 10 gallon tank, all of a sudden you got an extra, you know, 80 pounds on top of you. There we go. It's all in place. Now we're gonna get this lock ring. And we kind of got it started. And a little bit on each side. Work this thing around. Take off a little protective caps, and these fuel lines are different sizes, so there's really little chance of mixing them up. My new kit came with new uh, new little clips, which is nice. So take a new little clips and. black one in there. This one's on. There we go. And those just have O-rings in them to hold everything together. Fuel pumps installed. Um, now is a good time to actually, if you want to, you can shake the tank, you know, shake the car and any, if your gas li fuel level is high enough, gas will show a leak instantly. It's so fine and so thin that it'll just wick out wherever there is a leak. So if we can sp splash the gas, then it'll come out. We're actually going to test it for leaks, but let's screw down this little grounding bolt because we want to make sure it's not leaking at this seal or something. But we'll get this screwed down. Reconnect the battery and see if we can get this thing to fire. Well, there we go, guys. I'll finish buttoning this up, but don't forget, you know, if this video helped you out, help me out and uh, leave a comment below or give it at least a thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching. If you want some more entertainment, I got a lot of other videos. Um, got a video on how to fix the, the lift struts, like on your hood or the, the tailgate of your car, SUV, it won't stay up. Go watch that video. It's kind of a cool little trick, but thanks for watching, guys. I'll put the link to that video right after this. Have a good one. See you soon. Bye. The best part about doing a fuel pump is you always find the, the coolest things under the rear seat that the kids or passengers left. The dime, that's pretty cool. There's always just random stuff. Deer horns, that's where those went. Chainsaw, I've been looking for that. I knew that was somewhere. What else we got? Oh, the leaf spring. Well, we better put that back. KC lights. That's where those went. Darn it. What else we got? The hubcap. Not a Dodge. That's okay. We better put that back too. Let's put this back too. That's an old one.